Warning. The following file is subject to level 715-5 classification. Part of this document may not be accessible without the proper security clearance. Item number. SCP-715. Object class. Safe. Special containment procedures. Outdated. See below. SCP-715 is to be contained at its point of origin within the City Mall in Ohio. Remote surveillance of SCP-715 has been authorized, and any images produced by SCP-715 are to be collected by Foundation personnel, posing as mall employees. These images are to be returned to Site-81 for further examination. Keter Class Containment Procedure Amendment Outdated. See below. SCP-715 is to be contained within a maximum security large item locker at Site-19. Access to SCP-715 is limited to personnel with 715-4 special clearance or above. Under no circumstances are any personnel, regardless of classification level, to enter or activate SCP-715 in any way. Examination of the interior of SCP-715 is to be done by a remotely controlled drone only. Instances of SCP-715-B are considered Class V cognitohazardous entities, and due to their nature cannot be properly identified without the use of optical enhancement technology. Instances of SCP-715-B are to be terminated immediately upon identification, using whatever means necessary. Safe Class Containment Procedure Amendment SCP-715 is to be contained within a maximum security storage locker at Site-81. No other containment procedures are currently necessary. Foundation personnel are restricted from any interaction with any known instance of SCP-715-B. Information regarding Site-81-715 is on a need-to-know basis. Administrators with the proper security clearance may view this information at the end of this file. Description SCP-715 is a take-your-own-photo photomat model photo booth manufactured by the Sony Corporation in 1972. SCP-715 displays no anomalous characteristics in its design or appearance. A small metal tag has been added to the backside of the machine, but significant wear has obscured any text contained on the tag. SCP-715 has been known to animate sporadically, producing images believed to be modified from previous shots. The impetus behind this activity is currently unknown. Images produced by SCP-715 are often heavily distorted. Individuals exiting SCP-715 are to be classified as SCP-715-B instances and do not appear outwardly anomalous. SCP-715-A instances are currently contained within Site-81-715. Research into the nature of these instances is currently restricted. SCP-715-A Instances Data Restricted See below for additional information. Foundation Site 81-715 Protocol Utilized in accordance to standards developed by the Site 19 Director, Site 81 Director, and Overwatch Command. The following protocol has been established in order to maintain the safety and security of Site 81-715 and the personnel therein. Location City Mall in Ohio. Security Level Delta. Description of Location Site 81 715 is believed to be an extra dimensional space situated below the City Mall in Ohio. This space is accessible via a service door located on the southwest wall of Sub Basement 3. The space within is a large cavernous room containing a deep pit. The interior of this space appears to have been cut out of the surrounding limestone. The walls of the pit are composed of a currently unknown biological substance, similar to human fat tissue. The walls of this pit constantly secrete a strong corrosive substance, making access into the pit particularly dangerous. Upon activation of SCP-715, an instance of SCP-715-A will appear within this pit. These instances are typically similar to the subject who has just used SCP-715, with the exception of major facial abnormalities, 
including extensive lacerations, large growths, to the point of unrecognizability, or the absence of facial features at all. Instances of SCP-715-A will attempt to scale the walls of the pit, digging into the fleshy tissue for support. These instances are currently considered hostile, and Foundation security personnel stationed at Site-81-715 are authorized to dispatch these instances with as much force as necessary. Research into the nature of SCP-715-A instances is ongoing. It is currently unknown how many instances of SCP-715-A exist within the pit. Authorized by the following administrators. Jack Bright, Director, Site-19. Carlisle Actus, Director, Site-81. 052, Overwatch Command. Addendum 715-A, SCP-715 Reclassification Briefing. The inconsistencies with SCP-715-B instances were first brought to our attention after researcher Gerald Patton tested SCP-715 himself. It was noted in his personnel file that shortly after this incident, researcher Patton turned down a request to transfer to the SCP-2090 project, a position that would have allowed researcher Patton more freedom in his research than the SCP-715 project, as well as allowing more vacation time and a higher pay grade. This was noted as unusual, but was otherwise ignored. Some time later, during a routine sweep of Site-81 for reality-bending anomalies, researcher Patton did not appear for inspection, despite the sweep being mandatory for all staff members at that site. Due to the large number of personnel processed in this procedure, again, this was largely overlooked. It was not until Site-81 research head, Dr. Agatha Wrights, began processing personnel information that these behaviors became apparent. It was noted in Dr. Wright's initial report that both the relocation to the SCP-2090 project and the personnel sweep would have subjected researcher Patton to technology designed to detect reality distortions. In both instances, researcher Patton managed to avoid being put in these positions. Following up with the report, Dr. Wrights had a Fulman Breaker Anomalous Optical Enhancement Device discreetly rigged in Researcher Patton's quarters. After processing the information gathered from the footage, it became evident that our understanding of SCP-715 was flawed. To be frank, we've been killing the wrong subjects. The collected footage showed that, when put through a filter designed to remove local anomalous effects, Researcher Patton appeared to be one of the creatures we've seen within the pit at Site-81-715. There is no record of Researcher Patton ever gaining access to Site-81-715, or even being aware of its existence, thanks in large part to the previous administration's secrecy campaign regarding that area, so it was unknown how an instance of SCP-715-A could have escaped our security. Then we used the same devices to observe the instances of SCP-715-A within Site-81-715, and, well, they're humans. They're all humans. They're not like those things they appear to be when we look at them. They're human beings, and they've been trying to tell us, but we can't understand them, so we've been shooting them. In our haste, we quickly upgraded the classification to Keter, and began attempting to collect all of the SCP-715-B instances we were aware of. We managed to get an interview in with the one that looks like Researcher Patton as well. Due to the information recovered from this interview, we've rescinded the classification upgrade and locked SCP-715 in a secure vault. The current status for this project is pending. We're not going to acknowledge the problem anymore, and we're not going to go looking for B instances. We haven't been able to verify the patent instances' claims, but if there are as many of these running around as we think there are, it would be better for normalcy if we just let them be for now at least until we can figure out what they want. As for the A instances, let's just consider the protocol listed above null until we can figure out something better. We've been advised that it would not be wise to remove them from Site-81-715. As unfortunate as this is, it is our current plan. Assistant Director Weaving, Site-81. Incident Report, 715-A, Site-81. Director, K. Actus. Assistant Director, 
J. Weaving, Anomalous Entity Report, Head Researcher, T. Baker, Subject, SCP-715-B, Full Report Details, SCP-715-B Instance Agent David K. Fredrickson was taken into Foundation custody after an investigation revealed that the agent was an instance of SCP-715-B-7. During preliminary observation of the instance, it was discovered that SCP-715-B-7 was discreetly emitting low-level beta radiation directed at Site-81-715. These emissions seemed random, but were considered a point of interest. During autopsy of SCP-715-B-7 at Site-80, it was noted that the emissions increased in both energy output and frequency. Shortly thereafter, Site-80 experienced a power outage and containment breach. Site-81 was placed on lockdown, though no disturbances were noted in the object. During post-breach investigation of Site-80, it was discovered that the body of SCP-715-B7 had disappeared. There was no indication of a forced entry into the B research wing. Video surveillance of Site-80 confirmed that several members of staff, all involved in the SCP-715 project, entered the B-Wing lab and escaped the site with the body of SCP-715-B7. The image attached below was left at the scene. No other information has presented itself. Investigation of the anomaly is ongoing. T. Baker, Level 4 Researcher, Site 80-81 Lesson Complete If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-714, The Jaded Ring, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.